Tonight, new developments in the death of a 23-year-old black woman who died after a dating app meetup. After protesters demanded answers. <laughs> marching on what would have been Lauren Smithfield's 24th birthday Sunday, carrying balloons to mark the occasion. Smithfields was found unresponsive in her apartment December 12th. Her family now filing a notice of claim, a first step in preparing to sue the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut for its, quote, racially insensitive handling of Smithfield's sudden passing. I mean, whatever happened that night, we want to know and we want to feel like that they care as much as we care. She was found by a man she allegedly met on the dating app Bumble, according to a police incident report provided by the family attorney. The man is 37 years old and white, according to public record, and he called the police, according to the incident report, when he says he woke up next to her and she was not breathing. The man who found Lauren is not currently considered a person of interest. What is the family's response to that? The family is very insulted by that. They weren't looked at as a person of interest, and we feel that is racially motivated. Tonight, her death ruled an accident by the Connecticut chief medical examiner. The cause of death is multiple drugs, including fentanyl and alcohol. According to the police report, the man told police that the night before, the two were drinking tequila and Smithfields became ill and, quote, went to the bathroom to vomit. They continued drinking and she fell asleep. The report makes no reference to the two having sexual relations that night. The man says he heard Smithfield snoring around 3.30 a.m. When police arrived before 7 a.m., she had been, quote, dead for at least an hour or more and had dried blood in and around her right nostril. The family is alleging a racially insensitive <laughs> handling of the case, that their civil rights were violated. What exactly are you referring to? We know that we have uh, seen the response that the nation has given to uh, Gabby Petito when she went missing. We don't have anything that comes even close to that in this particular case. Their attorney says the family found a note with a phone number on Smithfield's door around 7.30 p.m. the next day. The landlord notified them of her death. And they're told there's nothing to investigate. He seems like a nice guy. They never quarantined the area. They never collected anything of value. Instead, according to the notice of claim, the family found their own evidence, including bloodstained sheets and, quote, a pill used as a sedative and a used condom. The Bridgeport police did not comment on the specific allegations made by the family, but in a statement said in part, the investigation remains open and active, and the department offers its sincerest condolences to the family and friends of Ms. Lauren Smith-Fields. Oh, I never get to touch her again. It's deployable how they treated us. I see her in everything I do. All right, Sinclair joins us from here in 30 Rock. So, Sinclair, you mentioned on your story that it was alleged they met on Bumble, the dating app. Has that company said anything and has the leadership in the city said anything else about this case? Yeah, Tom, so Bumble, which is a pretty popular dating app, told us in a statement that they've been in touch with law enforcement, but, quote, have not received a request for any information and that they always cooperate regarding inve investigations. Meanwhile, Bridgeport's mayor tells us that he will work with police to, quote, make appropriate changes regarding death notifications for family members. And that's in direct response to the claims of the family who say the police did not notify them of Amber's death 24 hours after she passed. The family is also awaiting the results of an independent autopsy, Tom. Okay, Zinclay, we thank you for that.